This is what's wild in New Hampshire by a wildlife biologist, Eric Orff. Well, just stop down to the local brook. Have you noticed how brook's getting bony? Yeah, we get bony brooks. Bony brooks. We're in a drought. <laughs> we are in a drought. Here it is, the uh, what, 18th of November. We've not had a flake of snow here in central New Hampshire. Not a flake. And uh, little rain since uh, June, I think. Not much of my rain gauge is all summer into the fall. We're going into fall. Well, we know the fire risk is very high and it has been for several weeks here because we are in a drought. If you look at the national drought map, it will show that New Hampshire is still in a drought and it certainly are. Look at this bony brook. Not much water flowing here. We'll go to the other side. We'll give you luck at both sides of the brook that I frequently come down. Ah, this is a wild brook in my neighborhood. Well, we'll wait for the mailman to go by. Yeah. Well, I'll shrink her back down. So, yeah, we're looking at a bony brook. A wave to Dave the mailman. And I'll swing us around. Take a look over here. We'll see this side of the brook, too. You get a look at both sides this afternoon. This is the afternoon of the 18th of November, 2024. Yeah, look at the rocks. There's no water flowing here, just a trickle up there at the day at the uh, under the old bridge, the old railroad bridge. Yeah, we'll look at that water. We got some, <laughs> and of course that whole plunge is too high for most fish to get up and down, so it blocks fish passage. That bridge that was built in the 1800s up there, yep, yeah, for the train to go across. The Blueberry Express, it was called, built in the 1860s and lasted until the 1950s, just shy of a hundred years. So, some water flowing there, but boy, our, and I've been looking at Brooks the last week or two. Went over to Keene on Saturday, over to Toadstool for book signing, and tomorrow night, hey, don't forget, tomorrow night is the book signing right here in Epsom at the library, 6 p.m., the 19th of November, 6 p.m., right here in Epsom at the town library. I'll be doing a book signing. I always do a little lecture beforehand. I have a few slides, maybe a dozen or 15 slides that I have in there about my years working for the New Hampshire Fishing Game and mostly the people I worked with. Yeah. Stop on by the Epsom Library tomorrow night, 6 p.m., for a little lecture and a book signing right here in Epsom, New Hampshire. And here is our Boney Brook this afternoon. Yes, we're going to call this the Boney Brook. All are like this. Everywhere you go, driving over to Keene, Otter Brook. Runs down along the side of Route 9 there, yeah. Dry, very dry. Going into the winter in a drought. We'll see what snow we get, but boy, we don't have much much water here. And, and our groundwater is disappearing because we're not making it up by rain and some snow. We could be, uh, there could be some dry wells this winter. This keeps up. This is wildlife biologist Eric Orr for what's wild in New Hampshire. Hey, be wild. Live life on the wild side of New Hampshire.